Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Def Vader and if you've been keeping up to date with the channel then you'll know that a couple of days ago we released a 21 minute video that sort of went through a full movie breakdown of The Rise of Skywalker. It covered absolutely everything in the movie from scene to scene and though I always try to tell people to take leaks like that with a pinch of salt, we've just had a brand new scene drop directly from Disney that pretty much confirms everything in the leak is true. The new teaser that was released yesterday shows the entire opening of the movie and it looks like the leaks got absolutely everything right even down to the colour of space in it. What we're going to do in this video is take segments from a couple of my leaks breakdowns and play them alongside the new clip to show you how it lines up with them in pretty much every way. Obviously there's gonna be heavy spoilers here so if you don't want anything about the movie ruined then I highly suggest that you turn off now. With that out of the way I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. Now let's play the clip with my original audio. Okay, so the insider said that the film begins with Kylo's slaughter of natives in the red lit woods to get to Vader's Wayfinder. The Wayfinder is a pyramid shaped object that hooks up to Kylo's TIE Fighter to allow him to see how to get to Exegol. Kylo flies through a red nebula like section of space to get there, as was seen in recent TV spots for the movie. Kylo passes a giant floating cube about 30 feet in the air. The place is weird. The evil son of Solo then takes a lift down, but this is where things go from weird to insane. I mean, really insane. Palpatine's voice can be heard claiming that he made Snoke and that he's been orchestrating everything from the shadows. So there you have it, it pretty much lines up 100% with what was said and though they cut out some elements of it from the officially released clip, namely the Snoke scene, I think this has been put in place purely to add some levity to the release as I have no doubt that the scene will be way longer in the cinema. Now what this confirms to me is that, yep, the leaks were true as this was a scene that's been talked about I'd say for about a month now. It lines up pretty much with it exactly and yeah I don't think anyone can argue with it though I'm sure JJ and Kathleen Kennedy are smashing the dislike button right now. What this also does is confirm that the plot leak has a lot of accuracy to it and when you line it up with the other major clip that we got which is the, the speeder bike chase yeah it looks like the entire thing's true. Now this actually makes me slightly worried for the movie as normally studios only release major clips and scenes like this when they're also worried too. I've actually had a couple of close friends who had pre-booked tickets to the film on the opening night and they've ended up selling theirs after hearing the leaks and it kind of feels like everything's just sort of up in the air at the moment with regards to Star Wars and it's very unclear what's going to happen with this movie. Personally, I do think that it will do well at the box office because, you know, it's Star Wars, it's a closing of the trilogy. However, I think that reaction to the film will be pretty negative across the board and this will cause issues for the IP with the box office not reaching the full amount that Disney are really hoping for. If that's the case, then I think most likely that Kathleen Kennedy's head will be on the chopping block as, you know, it's basically her job to make Star Wars one of Disney's biggest franchises and if she's not doing her job then there's no point having her around. Whilst it still is one of the biggest franchises, even if it underperforms, I can see the team at Disney looking to oust her from the position and perhaps even put someone else in place. Now, is Star Wars bad across the board? Absolutely not. And The Mandalorian is one of my favourite TV shows of the year. Jedi Fall in Order was brilliant and I still have a lot of goodwill for the franchise in terms of properties. However, it just seems like the movie side is failing massively with Solo barely making its money back, The Last Jedi and now what probably is going to be The Rise of Skywalker. I don't really see how he can put the blame at anyone else's feet. Maybe JJ shouldn't have left the first movie, like to me it was kind of like when Brian Singer went off to direct Superman Returns instead of doing a third X-Men movie and look what happened there, yeah it's the same thing with Star Wars. Either way, it is going to be interesting to see what happens next week. I do have tickets for the Wednesday midnight showing so I'll be keeping everyone up to date with how the movie is so yeah stay locked to the channel for updates as they come out. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the leaks and if the release of such an extensive scene has you worried as well. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and if this has piqued your interest then make sure you check out our full breakdown of the entire leak plot which will be linked at the end. We cover everything from the colour of the sky to what games they play so yeah it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know what happens in the movie ahead of time.
If you want to come chat to me after the video, then make sure you follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT or head over to my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. We drop videos on there early, so if you want to see stuff before anyone else, then that's the best place to be. It's free to join and we have an awesome community, so hopefully I'll see you over there very soon. We're also giving away a free copy of the Marvel Phase 3 Part 2 box set on Blu-ray which contains Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame, Captain Marvel and more. And all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll leave your thoughts on the leaks in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of December and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are mad into movies, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.